Hello from Vienna. In the back you see the wonderful house of Shimatachi, which is our national center. And all of us in Austria, we are very, very glad that this India tour finally is taking place. To talk about the India tours is to remember some of the most beautiful experience with Shimataji. Uh, arriving to India was like coming back home, feeling this power of the, of the earth and this desire to, to touch the earth and this reconnecting with our, with our mother. That, that's how I felt. I felt at home. Uh, it was a beautiful experience. Um, the India tours may, may not, have not been full of comfort for the physical body, but it was so full of comfort and love for the, for the soul, for the heart. I had a great time uh, in India because my first time in India was amazing. Uh, I had the deep connection to Shamataji. This is the land of spirituality in India. It's the land of, of our mother and uh, a lot of things which I was carrying along with myself, uh, I got rid of it. I was completely changed. When you reach uh, the airport, except uh, especially Delhi or Mumbai, you can feel strong vibrations. You leave the fly, the aeroplane, and vibrations are around you. And this is the point I will travel to India again and again and again. And this is something I really miss about India, the deep meditations. And it was a small village and they had one new supermarket opened up. And uh, outside the supermarket in the front, <laughs> there was lots and lots of uh, chapels, pairs of shoes, um, because uh, they have such a respect for entering inside the house. You have to take the shoes off. So it was, you know, just a normal uh, store, <laughs> supermarket store. But all the people there had so much respect that they left their shoes outside. <laughs> yes, all in all, I really wish uh, again to, to, to be able to go there. I haven't been there for many years. India has changed probably, uh, but the depth you you reach there or the depth you have in in the meditation is uh, is tremendous india is my home and this is the place where so many saints were born go to india and experience the um, the state of meditation one can reach pranam shirasa devam gauri Putram Vinayakam Bhaktavasam Smare Nityam Ayushkamartha Siddhaye This uh, spiritual uh, people made in me the idea that I am religious. And soon Shamataji uh, said it is good for us, uh, for our spiritual evolution, to go to India. It felt like paradise to me. I, was, I felt taken care of in every aspect. I didn't have to worry about my physical needs. I didn't have to worry about the future or the past. I felt like in meditation all the time. Also because we were really taken care of so well by the Indian brothers and sisters. And also I felt the presence of Sri Mataji so strongly. Again, this big amount of divine love was coming into me and this time I didn't stop it. Uh, I just really enjoyed it. And I looked onto my skin and the rush was gone completely. And also when I got up, I felt that, well, nothing is paining anymore. So I was really overwhelmed by this love. And I went to the doctors there in Vashi and they also couldn't believe it. They said, it's a miracle. Oh, mother, please let me take all these wonderful vibrations with me back to Austria.
to share with everyone. All of a sudden, out of my hands, all these waves of vibration which Mother had put there, they just went into the whole atmosphere of Vienna. We really don't know sometimes. We, don't, we forget who we are and why we've come on this earth. In Austria, we had about 10 yogis, 15 yogis. That was about the maximum numbers of yogis that I ever had seen before. And then uh, Gregor said, now let's get up and do a foot soak. And when I got up and turned around, I saw 1,500 yogis all seated there. We hadn't noticed that all of them had arrived. It was such a fantastic moment. It was such a moment of collectivity, of unity. And what I really, really liked is to get all these um, different kinds of lifestyle that people have, for example, from Australia or America, which is so completely different from the European way of looking at things. Much For me, it was like so much more open and self-confident and uh, somehow it, it really helped me a lot to change my views on different things in life. The reason why I went to India was because uh, um, the years before I saw many of the yogis coming back from India and they were shining, yeah? they were happy, relaxed, the tension that they, that they went with to India seemed to have disappeared. My biggest joy was being in India and experiencing this love and uh, at the airport coming back my biggest desire was just to jump on the plane and go back. <laughs> Go to India tour as soon as possible. Bye bye.